as we celebrate Teacher's Day today, uh, I would like to take, take this moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every single one of you present here. Thank you for your dedication and for being the backbone of the Institute. Happy Teacher's Day to all. Uh, as we look down upon God, uh, let me pray. <clears throat> Hallelujah, hallelujah, Heavenly Father, we just want to... Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Teacher's Day to all of you sitting here. On behalf of the governing body, the executive leaders, I would like to extend our warmest greetings to the entire staff of Tetzel College as we observe this special day in the life of all of our teachers and all of our staff members, Teachers' Day. The people of Tetsuo College are what make the Tetsuo College community so vibrant and that give meaning and purpose uh, to why Tetsuo College exists to this very day. It is all of you who have worked so hard, sacrificed your time, gone above and beyond, and provided a service to the Tetsuo College community and all of its stakeholders, which include the students, the parents, the guardians, and to all those invested in the higher education of our state. And so each one of you, from whichever department you may be from, from the teaching faculty, academic department, to the administration, to the support services, to the accounts, to the IT and media team, all of you are providing a very important service and are all role models in your own way. From the hotspot team to the transport team, the drivers, the handymen, the sweepers, every one of you are, I would say, role models to the students that we are molding and teaching every day because they are watching how each one of you performs your responsibility and your duty to provide the best service we can to the members of the Tetsuo community. So I would like to appreciate each one of you for you know, the efforts and for the concern that you have. Tetsuo College, I would say, is known as one of the most hardworking institutes. And I know that everyone is so hard working here at Ditzel College. And above and beyond the hard work, the care and the concern that you have for the students and for the parents and the guardians, the care and the concern that each one of you have for every member and the extra lanes and efforts that you go to extend your service to the community is so appreciable. And that's why on this day, we have selectively handpicked a couple of individuals who have such, made such outstanding contributions in each of in the various departments that they're from. And we are this afternoon handing out the Tetsuo Award of Excellence. These people have shown exemplary performances and got, got, gone above and beyond their duties, showing concern and genuine compassion and the need to fill the gaps when they see it and provide extended extra hours of service. And for that, it was very tough for uh, the executive leaders team to narrow down on certain individuals. Your supervisors have all spoken out on your behalf and have pitched for you all. And that's why the people who we will be seeing up here today uh, are being appreciated for their extra efforts. Apart from that, we do, do know that we appreciate each one of you, each and every member. Although you, know, you may not be receiving an award, we know that there are so many people who are working behind the scenes and it's difficult to uh, recognize each and every member individually up here on stage. But uh, for all that everyone does here, I would just like all of us to 
give yourselves a round of applause as we celebrate Teachers' Day today. Thank you very much to the Ditsuo community members for your hard work and efforts. Uh, we always tell the students to dream, think, and do. And we tell them to be dreamers, big dreamers, to be deep thinkers, and most importantly, um, proactive doers. And so I extend this thought to all of you sitting here today to continue to dream, think, and do, and go above and beyond, and continue to strive for excellence in whatever it is that you may be doing. Because our dream and our hope for the Tetsuo staff is that you will continue to move forward, you will continue to excel in whichever department you are, and you will be able to see a growth and a maturity within all of you as the years go by. So that is my sincere wish. Uh, with that, I conclude my speech. And once again, I'd like to wish you all a very, very happy and warm Teacher's Day to you all. Thank you. So this award, I'm nominating Ms. Asani. best teacher from Department of Commerce and Management and I would like to highlight some <coughs> thing about Ms. Asani. She is uh, a member of, but member of Nagaland University for the management and then uh, now she is the first person uh, came to the level, 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 level. So she met all the criteria for that to become in level 11. So leading student council and efficiency in organizing college level and events and handling external participants, she did uh, nothing say like she did her performance very well and like um, there is no words to express his performance such a kind and such a best performance she gave to the department as well as to the college. We all know that very well that uh, she is handling the student council, uh, service council very well and then every semester she used to publish one research paper. That's the best uniqueness of Ms. Asani. And then right now for the last year uh, she published two research public, uh, paper and then one in progress for the sem semester and then she completed many FTPs and for the semester she completed one FTP and then um, you know her uh, like effective communication start, strong adherence of professionalism she is very professional with the students and she is support always uh, for the students uh, like uh, she always stand with the students to motivate or encourage whatever the thing she will be the first person from our department she used to do and then uh, she is a good team player and methodologically collaborate with all of our faculty members so I'd like to call upon her for the stage Sunny, if you want to share something, you can share it. <laughs> Doesn't she look here without saying one or two words? So, um, I'm so thankful for this honor to the management, to my uh, entire department, and to every one of you. Happy, happy Teacher's Day. Thank you, Mr. Sunny. So you may think that still I'm here. For what? <laughs> so the next thing is that another best teacher from our department is Mr. Prasenjit Badra. And he is also a back member of management in Nagaland University from our college. It's uh, proud for our college also. I would like to highlight some important things about Sir Prasanjit. And he initiated uh, the department newsletter 
Tetscom Connect. Uh, so far, it went uh, two publications, two issues. Uh, it's a quarterly uh, issue. Everyone might have received these things. And then, uh, effective sol solving uh, multiples of problems during the exam timing. We all know that very well. Whenever we had some small problem to the big problem, we will be calling Sir Prasidit, where are you? <laughs> we got a different question paper, what to do? <laughs> Students are standing outside, what to do? So, he is the only man can solve like multiples of problem in a time, in a fraction of time. So, I really appreciate Sir Prasanjit for this. And then, I'm managing the exam committee team efficiently. Organizing the examination part is not an easiest task for the thing. But, he's doing with his team and committee. It's really great. And then, he also like, uh, every semester he used to publish. Most of our faculties, Department of Commerce and Management faculties, used to publish at least one paper in a semester. And he is also one of the faculty. Uh, so far, for the last year, he published two research publications and one FTP in this semester and last semester he did three FTPs and then uh, <coughs> love as in cash. <laughs> Sanjit, I'm not going to leave you. <laughs> Please, you can share your experience. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I want to wish Teacher's Day, Happy Teacher's Day to all of you, each and every one of you. Uh, I'm truly honored to receive the Best Teacher Award on this special occasion, that's Teacher's Day. Uh, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the college administration my department, HOD, Dean, and especially to my students for making my journey so rewarding. Uh, once again, thank you very much for this prestigious accolade. Uh, I, it encourages, really encourages me to strive for excellence in the field of education. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Prasenjit Badra. So, which is not mean that uh, only these te two teachers are best in our department, best in commerce and management department. So all are doing their best. So these two are the leading person, which means. Okay, thank you so much for the time. And then I'm handling this time to the next supervisor. Thank you. Once again, I wish you happy Teacher's Day. I'm here to award from our department. I usually think he is, he is like a donkey. <laughs> because whatever task that you assign, whatever job that you give it to him, he will just say yes, no complaint, no nothing. He will just carry it and he will just go forward. And he just do it efficiently. And that is the reason why uh, I have nominated, nominated him and we have selected him. He, during the admission uh, uh, admission counseling time, admission period, I think most of the teachers have got off days. They were relaxing and of course some of us were coming and take turn by turn to take the counseling. But he is someone who never take off during that time. He came every day and he assisted the IT team when he didn't have the counseling. And after that, whenever he is assigned for counseling, he will go there and he will ask, he will take the counseling. So he was one person who never took uh, take off days during the counseling admission period. And along with that, uh, one extra thing he did was again, if you can see our computer science, it has grown from one lab to now six actually six lab, four computer labs, one networking and um, hardware lab, and one IoT electronics lab. Now, to increase this lab, it's uh, with all the device we have to setting up and the computers, which are now almost 250 plus computers. All those things are not, it, it just didn't come as a package. But what we did was we came, we ordered all the device piece by piece and it has to assemble. So to assemble one computer, at least we take almost 30 to 40 minutes. 
So, uh, of course, initially Rone Renai has trained a uh, fifth semester students currently, and now uh, we have assembled around 50 computers. And with now, this person has assembled more than 100 computers and trained the third semester students, which took almost, I think, three or three to four weeks for them. But they have done a tremendous job out there. And if they do a single mistake, it will cost them 10 plus thousand. <laughs> so it was very costly thing, but they did it so fantastically. So I'm just proud of them, uh, the teacher and the students as well. And along with that, uh, he is, <clears throat> Political science is considered to be the biggest and highest number of students, but I will say it wrong because Nelit is handling the Tetsopolis student. <laughs> you just named Tetsopolis student, everyone is enrolled for Nelit. <laughs> right? So, handling all the admission papers, filling up the forms, and filling up the examination forms again. Again, it's a tedious task, and of course, our admission uh, office staff is usually to that. But currently, our staff, headed by uh, this staff, he is handling all of those forms and admission process as well. So that is another thing that tremendously he is doing. And recently, just recently, under his supervision, uh, so under his supervision, he has done a tremendous work, which is why I'm nominated. I have nominated and selected. Visalto Sotso, for which I would like to come here, come here on the stage and receive this award. very happy Teachers Day and then uh, I'm very uh, grateful for this opportunity uh, this is the first year that I started working and this is the first job that I've, uh, that I'm, that I've started with and I'm uh, really thankful to the management for uh, employing me here I've had a very good experience I'm learning a lot of things um, I finished my studies just last year so I didn't know a lot of things, but after coming here, uh, I've learned a lot more than what I've learned in my uh, masters and bachelors. So I would like to thank uh, uh, the, our my HOD and then uh, all the other staffs. I've learned a lot of things from this uh, college, how to um, <clears throat> have a very professional life. So I would like to thank and. Uh, Nothing I did was possible by only me. I have had a very good uh, supporting uh, staff, uh, my um, needed staff and the uh, staff of computer science. Uh, they've helped me a lot. I have not made anything, uh, I've never done anything by myself, but with the help of them, I've, I've, I'm able to achieve all those. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I hand over to the next department. Okay, good afternoon everyone and yes, of course, happy Teacher's Day to all of you. I stand here again to, um, to highlight uh, some of the few things which one of our department teachers have, have uh, made a positive impact in the society. So I'm just going to divert us to, uh, from academics to the society to the impact of how our, one of our colleagues from our department has uh, impacted the, uh, our society. Ms. Senjumini, she has just completed one year and uh, still uh, going very strong. And in this one year of uh, one year of her stay at that, so we have observed. In fact, we have observed a lot of things from her end. And the the most important factor, or is it the the one, the only one thing that we have really feel that she deserve this award is because of her uh, impact towards the society. Not only this, we have seen how she has relentlessly and effortlessly supported the student community as well. And it's not just her involvement here, 
we see a lot of other teachers uh, involving in their own uh, uh, in their own area. But if we look at how Miss Njumbeli has uh, actually contributed to the students here, we have uh, also observed that she has the uh, ability to ignite the students for the passion of learning and also how they discover their own strength and interest. Uh, these are some of the some of the events and also the activities that she has undertaken, being the NSS coordinator. Uh, with the involvement of the students. Uh, considering the fact that our students, uh, they need a lot of, lot and lots of uh, inspiration. And uh, with many inspiration, here we see the students who have voluntarily been involved in this, in this uh, events. One important factor which I have, which I've observed here is how the students, they have uh, voluntarily donated their blood to the people around. Uh, as, one fact, as, a, as a fact, we already know how one donation can save three lives. And I think St. Jumbeni has really inspired the students, especially our students, letting them understand how life is precious and how donating their blood can save multiple lives. And with that thought, we felt the need that this, uh, this award should definitely go to, uh, to Ms. St. Jumbeni. So with this, I call upon Ms. St. Jumbeni to kindly uh, to kindly uh, come on stage and receive receive this token of love and appreciation. I was not expecting this, but I am so grateful for um, this honor. I just want to take this time to thank our Dean, Sir Anjan, and uh, Dr. Rosie as well for always, you know, trusting me and encouraging me to, um, to you know, just carry out all my responsibilities efficiently. They have always been so supportive uh, of everything that I've done here so far, so I just want to give my, you know, extend my thanks to the two of them as well and also to the management. They have always been so supportive and, you know, always whenever I uh, send out a meal to them or whenever I conduct any kind of activity they have always been you know um, very uh, spontaneous with the replies and then they have always uh, thanked me and then you know uh, complimented me for the hard work that I'm um, putting in in the college so I'm uh, grateful for that as well. Thank you so much everyone. Once again I would like to Greet all of you a very happy Teachers Day. Okay. So um, I'm going to seize the opportunity and um, would like to honor one of my faculty and also a colleague. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, would like to convey the Tetsuo Award of Excellence to from the Department of Psychology to Miss Gurumayu Melody Shanma. The reason because. Um, Looking at her contribution towards the department, she, it was because through her that we were able to get strong, network, strong networking capabilities and connections that we were able to bring in successfully, you know, and conduct and successfully bring in a good resource person, both from the, you know, within the state and also as well as from the outside the states. And also through her contacts, we were able to visit the, uh, you know, the psychology department in DU as well as the Assam Downtown University, the psychology department. Besides her contribution to this department, she has also, starting from 2020 till 2023, she has completed one FDP and uh, one FIP. Looking her contribution towards the college overall. So she has been assigned as the role of the college coordinator for the OBC cell and given the responsibility, she has successfully conducted various uh, a program, uh, you know, competitive program and also conducted seminars. Again, looking at the role of a counselor for the college, uh, the psychological counseling, I'm uh, specific, uh, specifically talking about here. So, um, among all the staff, she has handled the largest number of counseling cases. And, you know, uh, we can see that she's the most sought after counseling teacher out here. So, to be precise, 
She has handled all together individual cases. She has handled about uh, 25 individual cases. And if we calculate the sessions, it's coming to about 41 sessions. Yeah. And moving on to from the student's point of view, uh, she always values students and is always ready to pro and prompt to help them in, you know, be it given her, you know, personal situations as well, hardships. And she always completes her work on time, be it, you know, her classes or be it, the, you know, the, the tracking, tracker, you know, whatever details needs to be updated. And she never procrastinates or delay about her work. And also, to, she is transparent and is concerned for the working environment and uh, definitely she is compassionate towards the co-workers and for the students. Yeah. So another point is going to extra mile. Uh, if anyone of you have seen her, you know, below the mango tree, okay, she's not there enjoying her chana mix after the <laughs> class, but basically she is there, you know, tutoring the students, giving extra classes, you know, to how to crack the gate exam or how to crack the CUET exam or various other competitive exams. And yeah, so in a professional way, she conducts herself and handles, handles her work in a very professional manner. Yeah, that's all. That's some of the few highlights about her, and I take this time to honor this excellence award to Miss Melody. Can, can you please come over? Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'm going to get a little emotional, but I would really l uh, like to, you know, express my gratitude to all the faculties who are not here today as well. So we began a journey together with so many faculties who have contributed all together. It's not me alone who has, you know, contributed so much for the department as well as for the college. So my heartfelt gratitude to all of you and even my quarter mates with all your support, I think I was able to handle everything so well. And thank you so much to the management committee as well. Thank you once again. Hello, good afternoon everyone. And happy Teacher's Day to everyone present here. I am here from the support and service staff from the maintenance department. Um, we have nominated uh, Kehoto from the security department. Um, some of the points I will highlight. Uh, he has been a pillar of strength for the entire security, maintaining daily records and log. So we have so many work and then uh, responsibility for the security also. He has been doing that very nicely. Uh, I mean, when we were having a massive construction also, so taking care of all the records and stuff like that. So, uh, and then efficient and precise in every task assigned to him. His uh, diligent attitude is able to carry out tasks independently. His adaptability makes him the star of the security department. So now I call upon uh, Kehoto to please come up and then take a token of love from Tetsa College. And next we have uh, from our transport department, Shelly Q. So his sincerity is deposited from the fact that he does every task assigned to him diligently, reliable, seldom say no to any work or assistant. Whenever help is, uh, whenever, um, help is urgently needed, his polite and helping nature is the reason for the popularity among the students. So before we assign uh, them, Shelly Q is the one who will uh, be the first person to open a WhatsApp group, then he will send all the information to the students like that. And so I call upon uh, Mr. Shelly Q to please come over to the stage. Someone um, 
who is the first person to be present on campus as early as 6.30 and she will be the last one to leave the campus as well. And she is also responsible for expanding the product line in our hotspot provision. <laughs> as well as not forgetting our canteen. So it's an honor for me to present this award to Ms. Rokosano Kibo. So these are some of the... <laughs> reasons why she was nominated for, the, for, this, for this award. Just hold on for a minute, I forgot your certificate. <laughs> Behind every successful man, they say, is a woman. While I do not consider myself to be completely successful yet, because I haven't achieved all the dreams and goals that I've set out for myself, I do believe that I'm somewhere uh, along the line. And I'm really blessed to have not a woman stand behind me, but a woman stand beside me as my equal, assisting me in every task that is assigned at the workplace. At any workplace, it's a, more, it's a matter of joy and privilege and luck if your colleague is someone who always supports you, encourages you, and motivates you, inspires you, and has always got your back. And so it is my honor and privilege to announce the winner of the Tetsu Award for Excellence of Excellence 2023 category supervisor goes to none other than Dr. Rosie Tepp. Dr. Rosie Tepp is the HOD of the Department of English and, uh, and she is also, also a member of the Board of Studies NU. Here's a few reasons why she has been re she is receiving this award. She has published two things. First is a book which she has edited and the other is a chapter in a book, both of which have the ISBN number. Moving on, she has attended two FDPs this semester. She's the driving force of the Department of English. They're able to achieve so much under her supervision and guidance, including having two undergraduate students publish journal articles with ISSN codes and present in international level seminars for the first time in the history of the college. She is the coordinator of two Tetsu uh, NTA net workshops and she is also the coordinator of the spoken, spoken poetry, uh, apart from all the other activities. She has also hosted several other small activities like these, coordinator of the power debate competitions. She And also another thing which we would like to highlight is that she was a member of the NCW CBPT training workshop for which the college received a grant of rupees 1 lakh. She is a member of the disciplinary committee. Uh, very diligently, she checks the skirts of every girl student that's there, and she's very strict on it. It's really nice to see her work that way. And during my absence from campus uh, last year, when I was on my leave, she very efficiently stepped into my shoes and handled all the, all, you know, all the responsibilities very well. She has also helped maintain the department page, uh, whose link is over here. You can go and check it out, uh, but it's very well designed, and. Uh, Therefore, she empowers people towards lifelong excellence. She helps create a positive impact in the world. She puts students first and she values time and she definitely strives for excellence. And so for this and much more, I'd like to call on stage Dr. Rosie Tepp. Ms. Ranjan, that I feel uh, with this award, uh, during this moment, someone should cry. We were just discussing about it and he just stood up, but I'm not going to cry for this. But <laughs> anyway, this is so overwhelming for me because there might be someone who really might have done so much more than me and might have deserved more than me in this aspect. 
just to, to give you a few gist about uh, this journey, this is my first teaching job. Uh, I've, uh, I've served here for more than four years and running and hopefully looking forward for uh, good days ahead. And um, I don't know whether I really deserve this, but I just want to thank the management so much for considering me uh, worthy of this award. Thank you so much to all the teachers who have uh, molded me in so many ways. My department teachers have molded me, which made me, which made me, or which challenges me to uh, strive for excellence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, and happy Teachers Day.